Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today Panasonic just announced their latest full frame camera. It's the Panasonic S9. Now I've worked with Panasonic personally for four years. I currently use a lot of Lumix S cameras. That's right, right now I'm using the Lumix S5 Mark II to record this video and I also use it to stream live every Thursday. I have a few opinions about this camera. There are a few things that I think that stand out. And of course, I want to share with you who I believe this camera is geared toward. So let's get to it. I do want to let you know that I have not had a chance to actually operate or try out this camera. Panasonic, feel free to send me one over. That would be awesome. Due to my four years of working experience representing uh, Panasonic Lumix in the Bay Area, I do have a specific insight as to the operation of Lumix cameras. And I currently own the Lumix S1H. I own the uh, S1. I also have the S5 Mark II. And uh, I use the GH6 as well as my overhead camera right over here. And I'm currently recording with the Lumix S5 Mark II. And yes, I do stream live using this camera as a webcam so with all that said looking at the specs I'm gonna be able to give you a great analysis as to what is good what is okay and who this camera is for let's get to it here we are we are at the shop.panasonic.com and here is the page for the upcoming release for the uh, Panasonic s9 full-frame mirrorless camera and here is the kit at with the uh, 20 to 60 millimeter f 35 to 56 lens. Um, let me make sure it's the same kind of yeah. Okay. So uh, you can see here the prices with the kit is $17.99, and it comes in four colors. You got the jet black, you got the night blue, you got the dark olive, and you have the crimson red. Okay. It's estimated ship date is going to be June 29th. So that's about two months from now. So for those who want to pre-order, feel free to go ahead and pre-order that. It says here, though, uh, if you pre-order a free Lumix S 26 millimeter F8 lens will be given if you pre-order it, which is a $200 value, it says right here. So the free lens will automatically be added to your card at checkout. So um, we'll get to the 26 millimeter F8 lens, my thoughts about it at least. But nonetheless, hey, if you pre-order, it's free, so it can't hurt. Now, um, so you can see right here, it says uh, the S9 is a compact full frame mirrorless camera's ultimate tool for content creators. So clearly right off top, they are gearing this right toward content creators, which is probably smart because full frame, and if this thing fits in your pocket, which I believe it will very easily, this will be far superior than any cell phone or mobile phone um, camera system. Okay, no matter how good it says it's light, it's just due to, well, physics, really. I mean, the full frame sensor is going to be much larger than any mobile camera sensor as of now. Um, so, yes, it will deliver superior image quality. And uh, it says it's simplified the, the menu system. I've seen re semi-reviews on this. Um, so another thing is that it's going to deliver real-time LUT. Now, this is an awesome feature. I've used it numerous times on the Lumix S5 Mark II. I believe the GH6 has it, uh, G9 II. Um, who else? I, I, oh, S5 Mark II X as well. Okay, that is a very cool feature for video content creators who have a collection of LUTs or have made their own LUTs and want to apply it to their to their uh, social media content right in camera. So that's pretty dope. All right. Uh, the full frame sensor allows for exceptional uh, clarity, low light performance, yada, yada. Yes, due to its size. So if you're a content creator making content on your cell phone, this is going to be a, sar a far superior choice. And ironically... Um, let me see what it is. It doesn't give me a price without the kit lens, but I believe it's $14.99, um, which is really not that much more than an iPhone 15 Pro Max dual, whatever the hell they're selling at the at the max. So that's the that's the irony. But yet, if you're looking for content creation, this is gonna be far superior. That's just off top. Um, so here 
they're, they're, they, they are really trying to emphasize the efficiency of the content creation workflow. Shoot to share and minus the editing. So that is really, really cool. Um, because quite honestly, if you're trying to get young content creators on board, you have to simplify the workflow and make it quick as possible from shoot to literally share as it says. So I'm glad they keeping that in mind because, um, that a reason for me to have a camera like this is because if I'm traveling, I want to be able to shoot it and quickly upload to share as quick as possible. And, um, so anyway, let's get right to it. These are the, obviously the, the four colors it comes in. Me personally, I'm probably still rock the black. I like the black. <laughs> All right. Um, so here, it, here we're going to talk about the real time LUT. Now, real time LUT applies a signature preset of digital preset, um, directly in the camera. Now, when I mean preset, I don't mean preset in terms of, um, highlights, shadows and whatnot. It's an actual LUT. So preview and apply professional color grading for standout social media content. Choose a wide range of LUTs in the Lumix Lab app or create your own. Or if you bought a set of LUTs, you can really easily um, with the SD card, drop it into SD card and then add it to the LUT library in the camera. That's how I've done it with the Lumix S5 Mark II. Okay, so that you can have your own set. Now... My experience is that when you're using real time LUT, it's basically like baking it into the footage. Okay. So no, it's going to be at a hundred percent. And when I mean, no, I'm, uh, excuse me. <laughs> no, you're not going to be able to increase or decrease the intensity of that LUT as you could in Adobe Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve. It's going to be straight up a hundred percent. Now that could be good and it can be bad, right? If you just want it applied. A hey, way to go. It's at a hundred percent. But if you want it to, uh, uh, like, let's say 25% or 50%, you're not going to be able to do it. So it's baking it in just like, um, presets on, not presets, just like basically, um, like a JPEG photo. You better like what you're getting at the moment of you pressing that shutter. But again, I've posted some of these videos, um, using, uh, S5 Mark II. And, uh, using real time LUT and it looks pretty cool. So I can't, I can't deny that it is pretty cool. Um, here we go with the Lumix lab. So this is something they're adding, I believe, cause this is the first time me seeing them promote this from shooting to posting in 30 seconds, transfer content to your smartphone seamlessly with the Lumix lab app and an ultra fast Wi-Fi connection. Every stunning shot will appear in your photo library or quick in easy. Now I've been using up to this point, the Lumix image app to control everything, to download, um, to control the camera itself, uh, to, to live view. It's called the Lumix sync app and it Lumix and a Panasonic, uh, image app. So this must be a new one. Cool. Next thing is think big, but pack small. So obviously the biggest advantage of this camera is the size. It looks very similar to some older Panasonic mirrorless, quote unquote, compact, um, point and shoot cameras. So if so, it is going to be compact. And I have a couple right next to me that I will be showing you in a minute. Okay. So, uh, obviously they're saying it's designed to deliver standout content, clear, high resolution, even in low light. And that's due to the, well, it's full frame sensor. It's literally the same sensor as the S5. Uh, it's the L mount. So that means you're going to have a wide range of lenses, especially the entire Sigma art series and contemporary series of lenses. So you have a whole smorgasbord of very fast glass ready to be fitted onto this camera. So here we are, flexible full frame. So that's going to allow you to take, uh, uh, be able to receive tons of light, but most importantly, shooting video, you got open gate, baby, which is fantastic. I use it all the time. As some of you may know, I work for a tech company and I have to make a lot of content. And a lot of times I'm shooting at 6k open gate because of that awesome advantage. I can, sh I can crop horizontally for YouTube and I can crop, um, vertically for my TikToks and reels. 
all with the same footage. So that's really cool, especially again, that this is for a creator. One piece of content to rule them all or one piece of media. And as you can see here, here's a several different aspect ratios. Uh, it has a crop zoom, hybrid zoom, extends the zoom range of both photos and videos, allow you to expand your range of expression. Okay, that's cool. It's a little zoom, but I'm, I'm wondering how the uh, stabilization has worked as well as the, uh, you know, the, the, the quality. I, I like, a, uh, an optical zoom over anything. So, um, fast autofocus, since it has the same, I believe it has the same exact phase hybrid autofocus as the S5 Mark II, then I've been very happy with that. So shout out to that. So that's awesome. Um, steady shot in any situation. As we all know, Panasonic is, synonymous with amazing uh in-body stabilization so it's saying here you can shoot handheld get steady shots of course they have this mode called active is which is awesome uh which will help you to keep your your image smooth and then they have another one which is like an image boost uh where um it basically as if you're on a on a monopod so shout out to that that they transfer that here that's only going to make content easier to make so yes, as it, as it said earlier, um, if you pre-order now, you will get the Lumix S 26 millimeter F8 lens, perfect for capturing spontaneous moments. The thin, lightweight design allows the lens to be attached like a lens cap and quickly taken off for casual snaps, huh? Okay, this lens is for manual focus only, fixed at F8. The camera's AF setting and some MF System functions cannot be used. Oh, Jesus. This lens is for manual focus only. Fixed at F8. All right, moving right along. Uh, we have also the announcement, I guess, of the Lumix S 18 to 40 millimeter F 4.5 to 6. Now, this zoom range is going to be ideal for content creation. Photos and video, great for street photography casual moments, but also wide enough to do a selfie video recording or a selfie photo. So this lens here would be my top choice to get to, to, to uh, put on this camera. And it looks fairly compact uh, in relation to the size of the camera. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I would definitely be using more is this lens here for the S9. Okay, that's over the 12 to 60 millimeter. Uh, what was what was the original? The original was, uh, yeah, the 12 to 60 millimeter lens, which I actually really enjoyed too. So I can't deny that part. Okay, that's the same lens that comes with the Lumix S5 Mark II and Mark II X. Okay, and it comes with a three year warranty. So, well, uh, honestly, I can't really share a whole lot more until I have the camera in my hand, but I can tell you from the internal performance, since it's coming from the Lumix S5 Mark II, that it performs really, really, really well. Autofocus for photos and video, I've always been happy with. I'm using it right now. Um, what else? The colors. I love the colors that come out of the Lumix cameras and it shoots 6K open gate. Let's not negate how impactful and amazing of a feature that is. And real time LUT is just super fun. I'll just be quite honest. It's super fun to use to slap on a LUT and already have your high quality video looking really good to quickly upload. That's that's pretty fun and I'm glad it has that feature. So with all that said, let me know what you think about this camera down below. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description section for you to check out the specs and what kit it comes with and all that good stuff down below. Of course, I'm your host, Robert Silver. Until next time, keep shooting and stay creative. Thank you for watching.